Okay, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Um, Derek here. I'm going to talk to you today about lift versus hit for your cardio. Um, given that we're, we got to stay at home order across the whole damn country. Uh, at, you know, any kind of gym goal to getting stronger, adding on muscle mass to getting stronger is going gonna, is gonna to have to be put on hold. But it's a perfect opportunity to continue your fat loss or just, you know, focus on fat loss more than the other goals. Um, and with that being said, uh, from my bodybuilder standpoint, um, and I guess the, the most effective things in my opinion are going to be either hit or lifts. Um, but even further than that, I am more of a proponent of lifts, which is low intensity steady state cardio. Um, just going on a simple walk, keeping your heart rate, or, or doing any form of cardio that's just going to keep your your heart rate, you know, kind of like between 100 and 130. Um, it's not too intense. It's not going to uh, impact your recovery systems. It's not going to, it's going to build up a little bit of, you know, it's going to breathe a little bit heavier than normal. It's going to probably sweat just a little bit, um, but nothing too intense. Uh, and um, what else? Uh, it's not going to spike your hunger afterwards. I know I have that problem when I do hit or any kind of uh, more intense, anything intense, you know, it makes me hungrier on the back end. Um, you, with lists, you're not going to pull any muscle or, you know, sprain an ankle or roll an ankle or mess up like your knees or anything. It's low impact. Um, one downside is it does take up a lot of time, especially if you have to burn a lot of calories. Uh, so that's a problem. But other than that, I mean, this seems to be the best way to go um, because I'm also looking at it from the lens of you should still be doing training and a large part of your calorie deficit uh, or your calorie deficit should be coming from your, your diet. Um, so, you know, I know a lot of people and some clients I have, they'll, they'll you know, go do cardio and, it'll, and they'll go hard, but then they'll, they'll mess it up either beforehand or after the fact with cheating on their diet feeling like they've they've earned or they're gonna earn their right to have something that's not a part of their diet that's gonna keep that's gonna push their calories higher and ultimately undo any of the benefit that that uh, more intense training session came from um so there's that um and to be honest with you uh i feel like this is probably good for anybody who lives pretty much a sedentary lifestyle. I, I did in one capacity uh, when I was working as an engineer. And now, I mean, because of the shutdown, I'm, I'm still living a sed pretty sedentary lifestyle. I have a, I wear a Fitbit, so I do try to um, get my steps in for what, for, for what that's worth. At least I'm active. Uh, and then I track my calories like on here too. So I'm making an attempt to, I really bought it so I can stop Leave, leading a sedentary lifestyle um, so there's that uh, and then there's HIT high intensity interval training um, I do this occasionally uh, not often I don't make it a, a, a thing a, a recurring thing a frequent thing I don't base my, my training off of it and when I do do it it's like once in a blue moon it's not even on any kind of schedule it's just pretty much if I feel really really good while still in a calorie deficit like maybe I got um, real good sleep the night before and I just feel great uh, then I'll I'll give it a shot or if it's like a Saturday and I don't have anything or you know in the past if it was like a Saturday and I didn't have anything planned at all then I would I'd go to the gym and do a hit kind of thing on the step mill or something but high intensity interval training so pretty much you're going to you're gonna sprint. <laughs> I don't like saying sprint because it, it, it implies to you that you that the only way to do it is, is on the is on like a track or on a treadmill. But in all honesty, it's just you know spiking your heart rate up and keeping it there for some period of time, and then a lot, and then you know decreasing the intensity and allowing your heart rate to drop back down to, I guess like the making it drop back down for an equal or longer period of time um and that's and that's it and then you just do bouts of that uh until you hit your calorie goal or hit your uh step goal or hit your time goal or whatever it is you know um or if you got some pre-programmed thing where you're gonna do uh, maybe like 10 bouts of the intense 
and then I guess eleven bouts or eleven or twelve bouts of the uh, of the uh, cool down period or whatever. Um, so that's what that is. And uh, so the pros of it is you get faster calorie burn in a shorter period of time. So your cardio sessions are typically going to be much much shorter, which is great if you got you know if you got a lot of stuff going on that day or you just got a lot of stuff going on period um the other thing is you do get a greater kind of like afterburn effect it's minimal um i think they say i think the science is coming back and be like yeah you'll burn in the process of doing that you'll burn like an extra uh, 50 to 100 calories um just because of your body going through that and then trying to adjust to it on the way down. So even after you finish your cardio, you're still, your body's still kind of like in a shock and it's taking, it takes a time to uh, readjust the baseline and readjusting the baseline, you, you might burn anywhere from an extra 10 to 100, 100 calories. Something minute, in, in my opinion. Um, burning an extra 100 calories, you, just, you gotta wash the dishes and vacuum your, your floor anyway. So, so there's 100 calories right there. Um, uh, but I guess some of the cons of it, um, cause I did mention the cons of lists, which is, uh, pretty much I just, it just takes so much time. It eventually it'll take time if you're, it'll just take m more time in general. Um, so the cons of hit would be, at least from my personal experiences, every time I've done hit, it seems, or like some variation of it, it seems like I, I pull a muscle or sprain a muscle. Uh, I was doing jogging and kind of doing like a fast jog out in the field or something and almost rolled my ankle. Um, that's what I was talking about earlier. And then I've noticed every time I do when he kind of hit, uh, it seems like my, my hunger spikes right after I finish it. So I'll finish it. I'll be good. Um, and then maybe like no more than 10 to half an hour after the fact I'm like starving and it's like uncontrolled appetite uh, so those are my reasons for not doing it and then uh, uh, additionally it's one it's actually like an legit one that's that's not preference based it's, it's like uh, from the pers again from the perspective of a bodybuilder um, hit is really intensive high intensity <laughs> so it's, it's high intensity uh, your weight training is also high intensity because you shouldn't whatever you did to get the muscle that you have you should keep doing it um, so me in my case I, I lift heavy pretty frequently um, all of my workouts will have me uh, pushing weight that's somewhere between 75 and 90 percent of my one rep max and then for the major compound lifts and then the rest of my workout I go as heavy as I can before my form turns to shit. Um, so ultimately still putting a lot of stress and strain and like and still puts good load on, on the body although that load adjusts uh, given the exercise um, it's still you know it's still a heavy load at any rate. What I'm saying is, you're already doing something intensive, which you're like with your weightlifting, or you should be, and you're, and then you're going to do hit, which is also intensive, and uh, you're also in a calorie deficit. And if you're a bodybuilder trying to get on stage, you're also it's a high chance you're not getting your eight hours of sleep or more that that, that you would need. Um, so when you stack all these things together, it just puts you in a spot where your recovery is going to be good, like. The calorie deficit, the lack of sleep, and the and the intense weights is all is already going to put you in a position where you might not hold on to all your muscle, and uh, your recovery time is going to be slower. You have less foods, you have less recovery period, you know, sleep, and you're still going hard in the gym. You are you you've already just just dug yourself a little hole. When you do high intensity training, um, it's if, if it's just as intense as your weight training you just dug another hole like a deeper hole that your body has to recover from that it can't recover from because you're not getting enough uh you're probably not getting enough sleep and you're in a calorie deficit so you just don't have the recoverability um uh i guess fuel there or the recoverability uh uh tools or building blocks or whatever um 
So for that standpoint, I'm not the biggest advocate of HIT. And even if you want to do it in the beginning of your um, prep or your fat loss phase, um, that's cool. But I think as your deficit goes and you get longer into it, you just won't be able to um, keep that, that, in, that intensity up. So maybe if you were doing it four times a week in the beginning, maybe by the end of your fat loss phase and when you're getting close to your goal, you probably want to do that once or twice a week. Um, and you're going to strategically place that as best that you can so it doesn't interfere and just like drain you even more um but with that being said um i think hit is probably best for and what i've seen it work the best for people who normally have an active lifestyle uh i mean like a, a job where they're walking around a lot so their body is used to walking extreme distances and walking won't do anything for them or if you just have a really like labor, uh, a labor intensive job um, and your body is resistant, then HIT may be the way to go for you. Uh, um, I got some notes over here. Uh, so additionally, kind of like what I hinted on earlier, regardless of if you do lists or HIT to achieve your fat loss, you still need to be in a calorie deficit regardless. Um, that's the only way any of this is gonna work. I mean, you could do all the sprints that you want in the world. You might recomp, you might lose fat, um, and your muscles will stay full, but you probably won't lose any substantial amount of weight if your calorie, like I like you doing hit, if your calories are still um, matching your expenditure. Uh, and then, like I said earlier too, your your weight training shouldn't change. Uh, so whatever you did to build the muscle, you should probably do something really similar to keep the muscle. Um, just a quick little caveat, building the muscle is always going to be harder. It's always harder to build it than it is to maintain it. So that's why I'm saying that. Um, but in any case, you know, you have lists, you have hit. The exercises for both can be the same. It could be, well, you know, hit is probably going to be uh, sprinting and walking. Um, you could do hit on the step mill or you can do lists on the step mill too um lists on the step mill if, you know I, so i gave like the caveat which like with kind of like your heart rate um but pretty much you know anything that you would do anything that you would do for one you can do for the other or some variation of it like they have they're like two different sides of the same coin um but uh, I guess I'll just just mention different forms of cardio that I see successful with myself and with people that I've worked with in the past or that I've worked with now. Um, you know, you got just going on a walk. You got the the step mill. Um, some guys seeing some progress with 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 running. Uh, you got people that do um, swimming, kickboxing, and boxing. So that that seems to be real fun for everybody. Um, and then a couple of people see the results by doing these uh, little boot camps or these uh, P90X type deals. Not the one, not P90X, but uh, whichever one Sean T is on. That that was that seemed to work for, for somebody too. So these at home like I like DVD Beach Body workouts where it's not you know focused on weights. It's kind of like a uh, like a high intensity thing. Um, so those, so those are all the different types that I've seen and have experienced, like have dealt with and have worked with and seen it work with like other people. Uh, but um, the duration for lists versus hit, uh, it's, you know, if you got a coach, they're gonna tell you how long to do cardio or what metric to know you're complete, whether it's um, a time goal, whether it's a calorie burning goal based on your Fitbit or the little device on the, uh, on whatever equipment that you're using or they'd say you know just go out and walk two miles you know um whatever that is is, is 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 what it is and if you don't see results from that then you just have to increase the time or increase the intensity um and that also kind of forces your hand as to which way you're going to go if you're increasing the time you're probably going to go the route of list if you're increasing the intensity you're probably trending in the direction of hit um and uh, when to switch. So that's actually a good one. Um, 
So less, you don't you don't really need to switch away from it, especially if you're a bodybuilder trying to get on stage. You don't really need to switch away from it. Uh, if you're doing hit, uh, I guess I'll dabble into that more. Well, no, just here. If you start off with lists, maybe at some point, uh, once you you know maxed out how much time you can allot to your cardio, then you'll probably want to switch over to hit and just kind of force the issue and just do your best. Maybe increase the protein and try to get more sleep and try to, to keep as much to keep your muscle mass, or you know adjust your your weight training routine so that it it doesn't take as long. Um. So what that would look like is, you know, I'll give my example from my show, from my from one of my competitions in the past. We started off waking up doing 40, 45 minutes of cardio a day um, in, the, in the morning and then training in the evening. Then afterwards, I think I moved to 45 in the morning, training in the evening, and then another 45 in the evening. Um, then this was, and then I further progressed to 45 in the morning half an hour to 45 minutes at lunch, uh, weight training in the evening, and then cardio right before I went to bed. Um, so that was a total of uh, what, two hours, like two two hours and 15 minutes worth of cardio, about two hours to two hours and 15 minutes worth of cardio. Um, that's a lot, because you gotta consider driving to the gym, driving from the gym, um, you know, still going to work, doing other errands that I needed to run or whatever. So, and trying to get, you know, at least six hours, five, six hours of sleep. So that's when I'm like, you know, that at that point, if I had to do even more cardio to lose weight, then I would, I would be, I would probably just be better off, better served by increasing the intensity of my cardio sessions. Um, rather than increasing the, the duration because I'm running out of the 24 hours of time that I have in the day to do everything. Um, so that would be the appropriate time to switch. Uh, notice I'm not saying like once you hit a, a no fat loss plateau then switch to hit. I'm saying increase, you know, fully maximize the list, a low intensity steady state first and then switch over to hit. Um, that way you get the most bang for your buck. You, you get all it's just like you you get all that you can from the list, and then you get even more when you switch over to hit. And then the perfect time to switch over to hit is probably going to be based on, uh, I would say, thinking like your recovery. Um, if you start off doing hit, I would actually naturally think that you would the closer you, the 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 longer you do it. And the more of a uh, fat loss you, the more fat loss that you get, your ability to recover, um, how 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 draining it is on you starts to increase. Uh, so you probably want to shift, probably end up shifting down to you know instead of doing it, hit five times a week, doing a four, doing a three, then doing a two. But as you're taking away from the hit session, you're lengthening your cardio time or you're equating it or whatever because you're, you know, instead of doing like 10 rounds of sprints, you're going to do, let's say, 7 rounds of sprints, but then you're just going to walk or do some other form of low intensity cardio to get the difference. Or if you're having a lot of joint pain, um, ankles, knees, hips, whatever, low back, um, while, like from doing hit, then it would only make sense to switch away to doing something less impactful and uh, less intense on, on the body and giving or you know spacing out your like your hit differently um, so that you can get more more recovery but because you're still trying to lose weight you can't just skip a whole cardio session um, so you're gonna end up taking out one of those hit sessions and putting in lo like a low in uh, like a low intensity steady state session or something like that um, so again, it's kind of one of those things where if you start off with lists, go lists until you, you fully maximized it and you don't have any, any more time and then do hit. If you start off with hit, you know, keep it up as long as you can. And then when you start to run into issues, um, with recovery or injury, then switch over to hit. Uh, I mean, switch over to lists. <laughs> um, but that's about it. If you have any questions, hit me up. Um, I got a discount code for supplements, AK20. Use it at checkout. Uh, the link will be in the description. 
follow me on Instagram. F- follow the Fat Podcast on Instagram and on YouTube. The links will be in the in the description. Be sure to like, comment, share, pass this around. I'm sure to help somebody out. Um, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. Hit me up on IG, and uh, let's talk. <laughs>